Describe the fourth step in the 5S program, Standardize. Standardize is defined as creating best practices and getting everyone to use them consistently in every unit each time a task is performed. Implementing standardized methods for sort, straighten, and shine require rules to be established to keep the workplace organized, orderly, and clean. The key action steps for standardize involve creating standardized work methods and making sure that everyone uses them consistently. Each level of the visual scoreboard corresponds to steps in achievement of workplace organization. Step 1. Establish teams. Step 2. Standardize work methods. Step 3. Create visual controls. Step 4. Procedures practiced. And Step 5. Share best practices. Step 1. Establish teams. The first step in standardize is to establish work groups to develop and document standardized work methods. Your work group may create standard work instructions, scoreboards, visual checklist, job aids, and one-point lessons. Step 2. Standardize work methods. Standardized work methods ensure that everyone is performing work tasks in the same way. These work methods are documented as standard procedures, job work instructions, SPC charts, and one-point lessons. Standard work methods are a part of a company's quality initiative. Step 3. Create visual controls. A visual control provides information to employees in the work area. The goal of a visual control is to create a work area where anyone unfamiliar with a process can quickly grasp what is going on, recognize the process, see what is being done correctly, and identify items that are out of place. Examples of visual controls include charts showing the monthly revenues of the company, a graphic depicting a certain type of quality issue, charts of daily, weekly, and monthly production goals, graphics identifying calibration dates using color codes, safety notices, and legal notices. Another example of visual control is the daily check sheet and the one-point lesson. A daily check sheet is used to identify daily activities that must be completed. The operator fills in the sheet when an activity is completed. In the example shown here, Task 4 has a one-point lesson associated with it. A one-point lesson combines standardized work methods with visual controls. They are displayed in a work area to identify what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, and how it needs to be done. Step 4. Procedures practiced. Once standard work methods are documented, it is important that the established procedures are practiced in all areas by everyone each day. Step 5. Share best practices. Best practices are shared with internal and external work groups. Some of these activities include share what you are doing that is working, make the processes known, publicize it in the company newsletters, and publish it in trade magazines. Visual controls are used to communicate 5S standardized progress to the work area, standardize inspection of 5S levels, and standardize key action check sheet. The standardized inspection chart is a visual control that is posted in the work area. It identifies the requirements and compliance activity for standardize. The requirements and compliance activities are success indicators at each level of standardize. A key action check sheet is a visual control posted in the work area. It is used to identify the person responsible for executing each of the key action steps for standardize.